Hey guys, so I have a review today of a monthly subscription box, and this one's different than, it's not makeup, it's not uh, fashion related, it is the Kawaii box, which Kawaii in Japanese means cute. Uh, if you've watched my YouTube channels before, you know that I am sort of obsessed with Japan a little bit, and um, Asian beauty, Asian whatever, I've been to Japan, I've been to Thailand, I've been to China, uh, but you know, I, I just, it's something that I'm, it's near and dear to my heart. Love it so much. And I got this last night. They sent this to me for a review and there's going to be a giveaway involved too. I'll put the details below. You just have to subscribe to my channel and then fill out, um, on the link below any information that it asks for. So this is the box. I don't know if they're this shape every single month, uh, because this is the only month that I've received it, but it is shipped from Singapore, so it takes a little long to get to you. I think this took about three weeks to get to Actually, I live in an apartment in Brooklyn, and um, my mailbox is just like a uh, thing that you open with a key, and it's not very big, but this fit in my mailbox, which was pretty nice. Uh, you can subscribe for one month, you can subscribe for 12 months. Uh, it's the typical subscription service and delivery and shipping is free. Um, so I'm just gonna, I, I wanted to unbox this on camera, but I was too excited last night that I opened it up. So I tried to shove everything, not neatly back in there, but that's what I did. So this is the contents of the box. It was wrapped nicely with pink tissue paper. So they sent you a card that says thank you on it. And then it says on the back, February, 2016, uh, hopefully you like these quiet items. Thank you for subscribing. And then it lists all of the items that you receive in here. And there are 11, which is pretty exciting. And I will say that the demographic for this is probably like kids could use this also adults, um, depending on you know, what kind of stuff that they like. So I'll just go through the paper stuff first because that is probably the easiest. From the card that tells you all the information, which I'll keep handy so I can refer to it for you guys. They also tell you about like their other uh, subscription services that they have, which is uh, Japan Candy Box. So if you just wanted to get like Japanese candy, I don't know if it's also other Asian candy. Um, Kawaii Distribution, which is like a wholesale kind of like, um, Oriental Trading or something like that where you can buy stuff in bulk. Kawaii Box, which is what I'm talking about. And then Lippo, which is a Kawaii shop. And it gives you a coupon for 10% off, which uh, the coupon code is Kawaii Love. So that's that right there. And then they give you another piece of paper that just says Kawaii Box and it says share this and you can win $100 worth of products if you use their hashtag. So that's what they give you uh, in terms of like information in here. Um, and then I'll just get into the 11 products. I guess I should go in order because that's probably the best. Um, the first is uh, a Korean DIY stitching key ring and that is, there's a lot of DIY stuff which is pretty cool and it's unlike things that I've seen here in the US before. Um, so this is Korean and it is a cross stitch keychain kit which is super cute. So it has this little bear and then it gives you all of these threads and then um, it shows you a picture on the back which is how to cross stitch. It's in Korean, so you can't really understand it if you only speak English, but it's pretty self-explanatory, so I think you'd be able to do this on your own. So that's really, really cute. This would be a nice gift for somebody or just like a really nice relaxing activity. The second item is a Moomin plush, which is also sort of like a keychain, which looks like this. I really never, I just Googled it, but I never really knew where Moomin was from. And Moomin is like a tune and it's actually from Finland, but it's also, I think in Swedish. Um, for some reason I thought I didn't, I didn't know that, but so this is the little plush. It's really cute. Um, and it has a little key ring so you could like hang this from anything or your keys or whatnot. Um, I probably would not hang it from my keys because it's relatively large and also white and it would probably get really super dirty in my bag. Three is the Nico sticker sheet and from other reviews I've seen they usually put stickers in these. This is this is really cute. Um, so they're puffy stickers and they, I think they are usually puffy stickers but these are almost like dolls, getting ready dolls, and on the back it has 
Um, so like if you were like a kid or something, you could kind of decorate this or you can just decorate wherever. And so there's like a fitting room. It's cute little cats and all different clothes, which you sew. Really, really cute. Uh, then fourth is a DIY bead bracelet set. And this says Winkle on it. And I believe, yeah, this looks Korean as well, um, based on the characters on there. But it's just a bunch of beads and some string in this cute little heart-shaped um, plastic thing. So you can make little bracelets or you can make earrings or just charms. So they give you some ideas on the back right there. And fifth is really cute. It's a lucky baby sheep pen and it says the lucky baby sheep on it. And it has this cute little sheep on the cap. And um, the pen is just blue in color, looks like this. And it's a fine tipped pen and I will write on the box. It's a black pen, so it just writes really nicely. So this is super cute. And they give you some cookies or biscuits or whatever. Um, so these are bourbon petite green tea flavored cookies. I have never tried these before. They look Japanese and they look like they are matcha green tea biscuits with maybe chocolate in them. So they come in a sleeve like this. I can feel them like they're just, it's like a sleeve with a plastic um, thing here and they're all kind of stacked in there, lace tiny biscuits. I don't know how many are in there, but these are definitely Japanese. Yeah. Bourbon petite matcha chocolate chip origin Japan. So um, I'm excited to try those. Is Funny Forest greeting card, which is really cute. So this is a little individually wrapped greeting card and it says Funny Forest. It has this lion and some trees on it and then a nice light blue um, envelope with an embossed like uh, origami uh, swan on there. And it says the brand is Natural and Simple Life. I don't know if that's the brand or just what they're saying. Sometimes things get lost in translation. I love, like, so what my, one of my New Year's resolutions was, was to start sending mail more. So I've been doing that. So this is just a little pop-up card, which is really cute. So after you gave it to somebody, they could um, prop it up on their desks and have the, the little characters and stuff stick out. It's just a blank card. So that's really cute. A kawaii mini pouch. This I am probably least excited about because the quality of this just kind of looks not the best. Um, it's like a shiny satiny kind of material and it has ice cream on it and like this little uh, bunny thing and it has like some, I think that's French on the bottom there. And then it's just a drawstring bag. So this is, you know, this will, I will use this. It'll come in handy for like traveling, putting like earrings and stuff to travel with. Um, and whatnot but other than that you know it's just a fairly simple pouch you could also give this as a gift to somebody with you know some jewelry or something in there number nine is cute bunny paper clips and they are a set of four paper clips and they look like this so those are really cute I'll bring those to work and then ten is my favorite thing that's in this box and it is the Taiyaki crepe charm and I think it's meant for like your cell phone, but there's no way I'm putting this on my cell phone. I'm going to use this as a keychain. Um, so in Japan or also in the East Village, they sell these little, they're little, um, I guess essentially a crepe, but it's like a fish mold. It's like a, a batter, almost like a waffle or something like that. And they pour it in a fish mold and it, you know, like it closes, it makes this shape fish thing. And then it's either stuffed with like red bean paste um, it can be stuffed with really anything black bean or ice cream. And so this one has ice cream in it. In the East Village, there's now I think a bunch of places that sells it. But Ofuka was one of the first places to sell them. Um, they also sell okonomiyaki and takoyaki, which are other sort of battered, more savory uh, snacks. And takoyaki is one of my favorite things ever. If you don't know what they are, they're little battered um, octopus balls. It has octopus pieces in it and cooked octopus and um it just has like some takoyaki sauce which sort of like a eel kind of sauce and then like some 
uh, mayonnaise and some bonito flakes, which are like the fish flakes that are dried and they kind of like um, dance around when they're first put on something and something's hot. And it's just like a street snack. Um, I have a takoyaki maker, so I've made it here in my apartment before. Uh, but in Japan, you can kind of get it on the street at any time and just like you eat it as you go. So, um, so this is just really cute. It is just the little fish with some uh, pink ice cream and then this little like citrus slice and then two little straws and a little chocolate piece that says love. So that is really cute. It's my favorite thing that's in this box. I love it so much. Um, and then the last thing is a Korean DIY magic balloon set. And this is unlike anything I've ever seen before. Um, I really un don't understand how I would actually do this. I don't have much confidence in myself. So it looks like this. Um, it's showing you, it comes with like a bunch of the skinny balloons and then a pump. Um, it made like a flounder kind of looking fish, like from the little mermaid on the back. I just don't know how I'm going to be able to do this, but there looks, oh, there are instructions there in Korean. They're inside there. There's like a piece of paper. So we'll see, but that's really exciting as well. So, um, so yeah, so I really like Kawaii Box. It's just such a fun, different sort of thing. So if you are into Asian things, uh, cute things, uh, I totally recommend this. And don't forget the giveaway below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.